The A's offense is the best in baseball so far in July. Let's discuss on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5 on Wednesday, July 24th. I am Frank Sample, joined by Chris Towers and... Let's talk about the A's. Their offense in July, they are first in batting average, first in OBP, first in slug, first in OPS, first in home runs, and first in runs scored. One player who has helped them do that is Lawrence Butler. He finished a uh, single short of the cycle on Tuesday. He went three for four. He hit his 10th home run. And in July, he is hitting 417 with eight homers, 24 RBI, two steals, and a 1420 OPS. I think we have some questions, Chris, about Will he play against lefties? Probably mm-hmm. not, but anybody who's this hot, I, I think he has to be more than 58% rostered. Well, I also just think that applies to the A's, right? Like, this is a team that's playing for the future. They have no, like, they're not going to compete the rest of the way. They kind of owe it to themselves to see if Lawrence Butler can turn this hot streak into a long term part of their core because he's still young. He's got plenty of tools. I hope that they give him the opportunity to play at least somewhat regularly against lefties because it probably won't work out. He probably can't hit lefties. He's only played like 23 plate appearances against them this season, though. Go see if this guy can turn into a long-term piece. I, I would hope, and I think at this point I'm expecting Lawrence Butler to get more opportunities down the stretch just to see. So, Right with what you said, the, the way he's hitting right now, 94.3 mile per hour average exit velocity in the month of July, it's actually like 92.4 for the season as a whole. He hits the ball hard. The A's owe it to themselves to see if this is real. And I think fantasy players have to add him just in case. Would you drop any of these names for Lawrence Butler, Jesse Winker? Sure. Yeah, I think that's fine. Alex Verdugo. Uh, Absolutely. And in shallower three outfielder leagues, would you drop Josh Lowe? I think it's probably similar upside, but also similar floors. You know, Lowe's not been very good this season, so I I think that's okay, yeah. I think it's fine to play the hot hand there. And speaking of the A's, just want to give a shout-out to Brent Rooker, who had another big game, one for three with a sock and a shoe, his 23rd home run, his sixth steal, and in the month, he's batting 424, eight home runs, four steals, a 1405 OPS. He is the sixth best outfielder in Roto, the 14th best in head-to-head points leagues. Let's talk about some news and notes. And Julio Rodriguez was placed in the IL with a right ankle sprain, and he was initially labeled as day-to-day, but it looked pretty bad at the time. Turns out he's going on the IL. High ankle sprain, could miss a Mm -hmm. few weeks. And if you are streaming in fantasy right now, the Mariners are one of, if not the best lineup in all of baseball. So keep that in mind. Mike Trout was removed from his rehab game at AAA on Tuesday due to left knee soreness, the same knee that he had the surgery done on, so that doesn't sound too great. Jorge Mateo was removed Tuesday due to a left arm injury. X-rays came back negative. He will undergo an MRI. This isn't big news for Mateo, Chris. Originally, I was thinking, all right, maybe the Orioles will call up Kobe Mayo as a result, but Mm -hmm. it sounds like uh, they will be promoting Connor Norby instead. Yeah, the, the the way it's being talked about as of Tuesday evening is they're not sure what the long-term ramifications are for Mateo. They're, Connor Norby is joining the team. And then if Mateo does have to miss time, they'll promote Norby, who he's not Kobe Mayo. Kobe Mayo is a top five prospect in baseball. Norby's probably a top, he was a top 100 prospect on a couple of lists entering the season. I guess he's probably more like top 75 consensus now. And He's got like a 900 OPS this season. He's got a little bit of speed, some pop. If Connor Norby gets the opportunity to play, that would be a very interesting player, though. Last time Mateo went on the IL, Norby played four games, and then they sent him back down. So not necessarily someone you should rush out and add right now. Let's stick with the Orioles and talk about a pitching prospect who's being promoted to make his debut on Wednesday, Chase McDermott. He's going to start in Miami. He's 24 years old, a former fourth-round pick. And this season in the minors, a 396 ERA, 143 whip, 129 strikeouts over mm-hmm. 91 innings, lots of walks, also lots of whiffs, lots of strikeouts. Chris, any interest here in Chase McDermott? I am more interested in McDermott than either his overall prospect ranking or his 
triple a numbers would make you think uh 396 era 143 whip that's not great but one the international league is just a great place for hitters right now it, it has been for the past couple of years and two you'll see sometimes guys come up with big walk problems and can rein that in because they're not working on stuff they're just trying to get guys out out and that's a different approach at the major league level than what you see at the minors so you know, McDermott, the likeliest outcome is he probably makes one or two starts and then gets sent back down, but the Orioles need pitching. It's a great situation he finds himself in. He's pitching against the Marlins in his debut. That's a great situation. And he's got a legit five-pitch mix with, I think, the cutter, slider, and changeup all have whiff rates above 40%. The fastball has really good induced vertical break, which is something that a lot of people are looking for, 30% whiff rate there. I think there's a chance Chase McDermott is interesting and useful for fantasy. So definitely going to be keeping an eye on that one on Wednesday night. All right. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we will be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 